Doctor, can you give me your opinion on of statin drugs? I mean, yeah. The, the opinions range, obviously, uh, and here at the uh, the A4M, I think a lot of people are talking out against them. But what what's your thought on those, the the cholesterol lowering drugs? Yeah, you know, it's funny because you, you, you saw my website yeah. and it mentions yeah. it's one of the good things to do. So that was received wisdom from my days as a regular medical doctor. Okay. Uh, you know, the problem with evidence-based medicine is you can kind of read what you want into sure. it. So when you really drill down and you really step back and you say, okay, what are we really doing here? You're interfering with a basic chemical reaction of the body. It's HMG-CoA reductase. So this is how we synthesize the steroid hormones. I mean, that can't be really that good, you know? Mm -hmm. And so, in fact, there are some idiosyncratic reactions, some of which I've seen, which are very harmful, and they can cause really debilitating illness. They're rare. I mean, they're in the one per thousands, but they happen. But in general, there's a more subtle background effect that people don't like how they feel on them because you're, you're messing up the chemistry, mm -hmm. you know? And the problem is that um, the, the fundamental premise of cholesterol-lowering drugs seems so appealing, right, that if we lower the cholesterol, because cholesterol is associated with these bad outcomes, you will have better outcomes. When in fact that logic appears to be totally flawed. You know, it's like um, when I did the webinar, I came to realize that my my belief is that the reason you get a lot of HDL and cholesterol is not because um, it's being overproduced; it's being underutilized. Do you see? So mm -hmm. if the cells are healthy, they need more fat. If the cells are unhealthy then they don't need more fat. So an LDL means a low density, it's a big bag of fat. An HDL is a little bag of fat. That's all, it That's all it means. So think of it like that old I Love Lucy episode where she's pulling chocolates from the conveyor belt, right? right? If, if Lucy's unhealthy or fat or tired, she's not pulling as many chocolates and there's more chocolate getting through. Same thing. So if your cells are unhealthy as a system, there's just bigger bags coming out the other end. Mm -hmm. So in fact, what we found here, this whole... Um, multi-billion dollar industry, common wisdom, is all just totally wrong, actually, because cholesterol is not the causal agent. It's like saying, you know, the reason why people get in, um, you know, bad, the reason why people's cars wear down is because, you know, the cup holders get old. I mean, yeah, it was related, but it wasn't really the cause. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a little trivializing. Cholesterol is a key component of atherosclerosis, and high cholesterol in certain familial syndromes is devastating, don't get me wrong. But for the run of the mill, really the problem is not the cholesterol, the problem is the underutilization of the cholesterol. You see? And people even think, you know, you eat cholesterol, you are what you eat, when in point of fact you can not eat any cholesterol and you make plenty of it. And as long as you're old, you'll have a high cholesterol level. It's mm -hmm. all just uh, chemistry. So if you're eating whale blubber up on an igloo in Alaska, you'll still make carbs and protein. And if you're a vegetarian, all you eat is carbs and protein or whatever, you're going to make carbs. I mean, you're going to make cholesterol. So, you know, we can't trick the system. The system knows what it's doing. The problem is not what you're eating. It's the metabolism. Mm. And the metabolism is not necessarily what you're doing as in the gym or eating. It's the fact that your cells are old and damaged. So the, the, game, the rules of the game change. Mm. I was talking to a 25-year-old guy, very fit last night. He said, yeah, now I have to struggle sometimes. I feel like I'm putting on weight. It's, not, it's just the system. The stem cells are old and they start to respond to insulin, glucose, cholesterol in the same way. And mm -hmm. so you could be the best gym rat in the world, but eventually you'll acquire a little pooch because mm -hmm. that's the visceral fat.